Okay, so now we need to figure out how we're going to connect this up to our actual head because it's just floating around there a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do for that, I think, is just uh, create like a tube which is going to be connected up to the head. So... Yeah, let's grab the... Let's put this back into edit mode. Grab the end part here. Which we can extrude out. And we'll rotate it. Okay, so it's going to be like a piece of flexible hose, which is going to kind of connect up into our helmet here. So we'll just keep on rotating this bit by bit until it connects up. So like that. There we go. Okay, so once that's collided in, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm happy with that. That's how we're going to join up. Um, now what I may want to do is just add a small feature to our um, head part here where this actually connects. So let's go back over into object mode. We'll grab this. Edit mode. Okay, so this is where it's going entering in. And I want to make maybe a little square part which will come out just where this goes in or uh, want to make it appear like it's somehow bolted in or connected in um, so maybe we'll, what we'll do is we'll put like a hexagonal bolt head around this I think that might look kind of cool let's come back over to this part here and we'll create it as its own separate piece so we'll come over to create here and we'll grab the um, cylinder tool oh wait a minute I mean edit mode we need to come back into object mode Create a cylinder. Oops. Object mode, I'll create a cylinder, and I want to change the number of vertices to five. Okay, so that's going to give us our. Maybe five is not enough. Maybe I want six. So I'll create a cylinder radius of six. Oops. A cylinder here. Okay, there. Now I'll scale this down. Maneuver it into position. All right, so this is going to be our nut, which is going to basically kind of attach our hose. So let's rotate it. X axis, and then we'll rotate it on the Y axis. Sorry, on the Z axis there. Move it on the Z, scale. Scale in the Z direction so we have a thinner knot there. Okay, 
there that makes the connection look a lot better than just having the pipe disappearing into the helmet rail just got to get the size right so our pipe goes through the middle of it it's looking good yeah, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit that way and rotate it a little bit in the other way just to square it up with our edge there okay I think that's good so there's the connection looks a lot better than just having the pipe disappearing there into the head um, makes it look you know more realistic Just move it back slightly. You can see, you'll still see a little bit of the pipe. So I think I need to scale just a tad there. Okay. I think it's probably about right. And there we go. Now uh, we need to mirror this because uh, it's not on both sides. So. We'll come over to our symmetry, make that symmetrical, and we'll mirror this object here. So we'll just add a mirror modifier, and we'll use the head as our mirror plane, and there we go. And it appears on the other side as well. Doesn't quite um, line up though. The opposite side. We obviously haven't got perfect symmetry, which is okay because uh, you don't really want perfect symmetry, but we do need to line that up. So yeah, we'll just remove our mirror modifier. We'll duplicate this object. Then we'll move it on the local Z axis. And then we'll just position it on this side here. So we'll position that the same as we did on the other side. We just have to rotate it, get it into position. And uh, that concludes it for this tutorial. Um, in the next part, we're going to continue adding in more detail here on the side we're going to start blocking in as well the other main structures here we don't want to get too bogged down all these fine details but um, we still got a lot quite a lot of structure to put in on the left side here and we also need to also finish the um, cover at the front here the visor that clips in